Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So, something a bit different this time. Uh, just going to do a sit down video like this and talk about the mindset and trading and the psychology side of trading. So guys, if you've been trading for a while, you'll know that like trading is pretty much like 90, 95% psychology based. So all mindset. And I'm going to talk about what that comes down to and how you can change your limiting beliefs. So I truly believe that it's like literally hundreds of strategies out there, if not thousands that could work if you give it to the right person with the right mindset. Um, what we do is we switch strategy, we go from one strategy to the other, and we literally stay the same, we have the same mindset. And if you're not programming yourself to be a consistently profitable trader, whatever strategy you use, you can have a consistently profitable one and a non-profitable one, and you won't profit on any of them because you haven't done the inner work. So my trading didn't take off till I started doing my inner work. Um, I'm going to talk about what you can do in a minute to reach that next height. But yeah, my trading didn't hit off till I started working on myself and changing the limiting beliefs I had in my own mind. So a little bit about like how the mind works and that. You basically got two sides. You've got the subconscious mind and the conscious mind. So 95% of your day is run off your subconscious mind. So only 5% of your day is uh, conscious. And it's run off these paradigms you have in your subconscious mind. So from the day you're born till seven years old, it's called hypnosis stage. Um, your subconscious mind is wide open. And obviously around your family for like seven years, and they're talking about like money is evil and all these negative programming thoughts. And it goes into your subconscious mind and it creates this program called a paradigm. So you get to seven years old, you've been around your family, being negative towards money and like success and talking about all these negative thoughts. So pretty much when you get to seven years old, your life has already been shaped um, pretty much similar to what your parents have done. So that's why the rich stay rich and the poor stay poor because obviously the rich family uh, they're talking a lot different to the poorer person and it's getting bathed in that young children's uh, subconscious mind. So guys, what you notice is if you haven't done the inner work, um, you make some money and trade in, and then you end up giving it back because you think that you don't deserve that money and um, you should be working hard for money. At school and all that teaches us we've got to go to uni and work hard for our money, work like a nine to five. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong working a 9 to 5. Uh, I know people that actually love their job and that's cool. But we're here, we want to be full-time traders and we want to make that transition from a 9 to 5 to a full-time trader. So it's, it's completely different. Like we, they're working on 9 to 5, working hard for our money. And then you go into the market and you can make your monthly salary in the markets within like a day with the right capital. So there's two different sides of the spectrum. So that's where you've got to condition yourself to be a full-time trader and you've got to do the inner work. So a couple of techniques that I use guys, uh, I use like daily affirmations. So when I wake up in the morning and I say to myself, it sounds stupid, but I say to myself, I'm a consistently profitable trader and you've got to say it to yourself like you truly believe it. So your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between something real and something false. So whatever you feed it is going to manifest in your, uh, in your life. So your life now, whatever you have in your life now, is a representation of the thoughts you thought. So the only way to change that is to change your thoughts and um, start changing those limiting beliefs and those beliefs you have in your mind. So yeah, a good thing to do is daily affirmations. Your subconscious mind is wide open as soon as you arise in the morning and just before you go to bed as you get into that like sleepy state. So this is the best time to do affirmations. So whatever you want in life, this can literally work for anything. Um, uh, if you've got an exam like next month, say, this is just an example, uh, you can start doing affirmations like you've already passed and you can visualize your family members congratulating you on the pass and visualizing that pass on the piece of paper. So a little thing that I've done, guys, on my first FTMO challenge, I visualized seeing the green pass on the FTMO and I also got a certificate on Google. I put it up on my board and uh, wrote my name in before I even passed. I was doing a 50k account at the time and I wrote in profit was 5107 and I've done it in 18 trading days. That's what I wrote out. And I literally passed my first 50K with 5107 profit in 18 days, which is absolutely crazy. But so every morning I'd look at it and try and condition myself to already pass in the FTMO. And trust me guys, don't knock it till you try it. This absolutely works. Um, it starts getting you in that mindset of being that person you wanna be. So just say you wanna be a full-time trader uh, you've got to ask yourself questions. What would you do? What would you feel like? And how would you act if you were a full-time trader? And you should do daily affirmations. Say to yourself that you're already a full-time trader. And before you go to bed at night, um, as you get into like a sleepy state, visualize yourself as a consistently profitable trader and how you would act. And say to yourself that you are a consistently profitable trader and money is the root of all joy and happiness and stuff like that. 
So it starts changing your paradigm. Uh, obviously, if you're like 20, 30, 40, 50 years old, um, you've been conditioned this way. So it's going to take time to start changing these paradigms. But honestly, guys, if you're struggling, you're trading now. If you start saying to yourself that you're a consistently profitable trader, even if you're not, it doesn't matter because your subconscious mind doesn't know from real to right. Um, doors will start unlocking. You'll start getting some like um, hunches and inspirations. This is exactly what happened to me. I uh, wasn't making money in the markets and I started uh, feeling and acting and, and trying to condition myself that I was already that uh, profitable trader. And things started coming to me, like little ideas. Oh, I should do this, I should do that. It's absolutely crazy how it works. So this whole concept is called the law of assumption. So it's similar to the law of attraction. Obviously, the law of attraction, you're attracting things to you. Law of assumption, you're actually assuming something's already done. So you're living in that like wish fulfilled. But yeah, guys, this is such a good technique for trading. It gets you in that like prosperity consciousness. But yeah, literally the first two, two and a half years of my trading, I'd make some money in the markets and give it right back because I literally believed that I didn't actually deserve that money. And it wasn't until I started working on myself, started doing these affirmations and changing the beliefs in my subconscious mind that my actual trading started kicking off. So yeah, guys, if this is all new to you, uh, it might sound stupid. But I promise you, give it a go. So when you do the affirmations, you've got to say it and actually believe it. And you've got to try and trigger emotion because your subconscious mind reacts to emotion. So you can't just sit there in your bed and just repeat it without actually having a meaning behind it. So you've got to get it and actually feel that person you want to be. But yeah, this is absolutely insane, guys. It works so well with trading. Obviously, trading is such a mental game. But yeah, you can use this with anything in life. Like you've got an exam, visualize being passed. But yeah, don't expect this to happen overnight. Uh, it's something you've got to put a bit of time into. Obviously, if you're like 50 years old, uh, you've been living 50 years with these same beliefs. So you can't really change like 50 years worth of beliefs in a, in a day. It's just not realistic. But yeah, guys, give it a shot. If you're doing the FTMO challenge, visualize before bed that you've already passed and receiving that real account and put a certificate up on the wall with your name on, with already passed, and put in the figures and all that, the profit of the day, how much you went down, all that stuff. So one more thing, um, obviously your thoughts create your reality, so whatever you've been thinking is a representation of what you have in your life now. So the only way to change what you have in your life now is to change your thoughts. So everything you have in this world now, the seat that I'm sat on, the laptop that I have, was once a thought in someone's mind. So your thoughts create your reality, so you've got to change your thoughts, change your limiting beliefs. But yeah, like I say guys, give it time. It took me like a month or two before I started putting emotion with my thought. I couldn't really like visualise being that person. And I'm still doing these affirmations now every morning, every night before I go to bed. I do like an imaginary act where I visualise being like a certain someone that I want to be. But yeah, like I say, I think there's hundreds to thousands of strategies out there that you can make work. You just got to get that right mindset. So what a lot of people do, like I said, go from strategy to strategy. And I've been guilty of it on myself. That's what I was doing at the start. And they see one strategy not working, they hop onto the other. When in reality, this strategy could have worked if you had the right mindset. But you just keep self-sabotaging yourself back down to a mediocre level. So yeah, guys, start doing this inner work on yourself. Uh, start changing your thoughts. Um, Get rid of all your negative thoughts. Like if I was doing an FTMO challenge, I was a negative. Um, negative thoughts would start trying to enter my mind like, oh, I'm not going to pass, I'm not going to pass. You've got to literally flip it on the head and keep a positive mindset and just constantly think of positive thoughts. Uh, think of all the good that can happen. So yeah, I've been doing this stuff for about a year. Uh, flushed out all my negative thoughts. There's literally, I think, 80, 90 percent of your thoughts throughout the day are negative. So I flushed out all my negative thoughts. I just focus on the positive and condition myself for wealth so I don't self-sabotage myself in the markets and give back my profits, etc. But yeah, guys, I'm still working on all of this. It's like an ongoing process. Um, you start unveiling things about yourself all the time and you just keep getting better and better and stepping up and up. But yeah, just one more thing, guys. Everything in this world um, vibrates on frequencies. So just say the thing you want, the car you want is at like 1.708 and you're down here, you need to tune into that frequency. So you need to change your thoughts and your beliefs to actually, what would that person be like? Would you be the same person now? Obviously not, you'd think different and you'd act different. So yeah, as you get better at this guys, you just get better and better and you go up and up and up and you start attracting better things into your life all the time. So yeah guys, just to wrap this video up, um, as you arise in the morning, so just as soon as you wake up 
and as soon as you go to bed at night so as you get in that drowsy state do some affirmations you can say them out loud or in your head and also monitor your thoughts throughout the day especially when you're trading or your negative thoughts uh, as soon as you notice a negative thought come into your head uh, literally straight away flip it to a positive one but yeah guys i hope you like this video there's so much more to this this is just scraping the surface um I thought I'd get something out with mindset. But yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. Uh, give it a go for a few months. I'm sure you'll start noticing changes in your life. So don't worry about how you're going to be that consistently profitable trader. Actually act as if you already are, and the answers will come to you. You won't need nothing else. But yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.